Hi, everybody, and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's Weekly Forecast. My name is Terrence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, August the 16th, with the moon in Sagittarius. The moon sets the public tone. Sagittarius is outgoing, friendly, adventurous. You know, Sag is a fire sign. Sag likes to travel, but also education, traveling the mind. Now, the moon in Sag, by late morning into early afternoon Pacific time, is going to be in a square or conflict with communication Mercury. I look at moon can be emotional, and it's in conflict with Mercury rational. So you might be confused about making up your own mind about decisions, or you could have some communication misunderstandings at that time of the day. Later, by mid-afternoon to late afternoon, Pacific Standard Time, now the moon will also be in conflict with Mars. Mars can be impatient, argumentative. So most of this midday, late morning, midday, um, you might be more prone to jumping to conclusions, being irritable, being nervous. So my recommendation is go meditate, exercise, try not to engage with other people, just try to kind of center your own body with meditation um, and, uh, and exercise. Tuesday, the moon will be in a difficult angle with nebulous foggy Neptune, moon to Neptune by late morning Pacific time. But then come the afternoon, it all starts to clear up when the moon will be in harmony with sun. A few hours later, the moon will be in harmony with expansive optimistic Jupiter. So all of that moodiness and misunderstandings of Monday, the beginning of Tuesday, Pacific time, it all starts to work out um, that Tuesday afternoon, good for um getting back out there, traveling, um, having business meetings, making plans, feeling a lot more optimistic. Wednesday, Mercury, discerning communication Mercury, is going to be aligned with Mars. Now, the moon will be in Capricorn, which is a good thing, because the public tone, Capricorn, is more conventional, conservative, practical energy, because Capricorn is an earth sign. So we tend to be more earthy, more sensible. And communication Mercury will be aligned with Mars. Now, that could mean the mind is being really heated up, Mars, or courageous, you know, having making bold decisions. You do want to be careful about... Um, having any kind of accidents because that mercury can represent transportation or even walking. And the Mars, if you're impatient, um, you're anxious, you might, you could uh, twist an ankle. You could um, be an offender bender in the parking lot at the grocery store. Um, but overall, it could also be very favorable for um, doing a lot of brainstorming, a lot of um, uh, uh, discussing ideas. So that's Wednesday. Thursday, moon still in Capricorn, and the sun will be in opposition to Jupiter. Opposition is interacting with others. Um, Jupiter is generosity, expansiveness. There could be a day of, of a lot of travel, a lot of growth, a lot of optimism, lots of opportunities. Now, Friday, the moon is already shifted into Aquarius, where Capricorn is very traditional overall. That's the tone of those couple of days. 
Uranus, the moon in Uranus, Uranus is more non-traditional, more futuristic, more idealistic. That And this goes well with discerning intelligent Mercury in harmony with Uranus. Now, this harmony, which is a trine between the Mercury and the Uranus, will only happen twice a year. Uranus is the planet that rules the sign Aquarius. You've got the moon in Aquarius, and here's an Aquarius will be very favorable with decision-making Mercury, intelligent Mercury. Mercury, Uranus, excellent for new original ideas, for learning new computer systems and softwares, um, or just being more open um, to new ideas. Later in the day, oh, 5 to 7 p.m. approximately Pacific time, the moon is will be aligned with Saturn. Now, on one hand, because that Mercury Uranus can be very stimulating, exciting energy, that moon Saturn might be on the more positive, is getting um, getting organized Saturn to start to really accomplish and, uh, and move forwards on all these exciting new ideas. On the other hand, you might be feeling um, um, overwhelmed that maybe you you can't really accomplish these all these big ideas. But the Mercury Uranus is stronger and lasting for the whole day or more. The Moon Saturn is just a couple of hours. Um, so you just might be hitting a wall, take a breath, walk around the block, come back to it, um, and let that mind start exploding with more ideas again. Saturday, Moon still in progressive futuristic Aquarius, but now Mars, assertive, ambitious Mars, is in harmony with Uranus. Um, so this is going to be strongest from midday Saturday um, Pacific time into the first half of Sunday. Mars Uranus can be really courageous energy, taking bold risks, um, just um, feeling um, feeling unafraid and really dynamic and assertive. On a more, that could explains more the emotional, on a more mundane level, the Uranus can deal with technology, innovation, and Mars in harmony. Mars is that ambitious, assertive energy. So you might be very actively involved um, and um, to achieve your goals through the internet, through technology, through computers. Sunday, August the 22nd in the morning um, will be the full moon in Aquarius when everything comes to a head, everything comes to light. But at 5.43 a.m., just after the full moon has already peaked, the moon moves into Pisces. Aquarius is futuristic. It's much more brilliant um, intellectual kinds of energies. The moon goes into Pisces at 5.43 a.m. for a couple of days. Pisces is more creative. It's more sensitive. It's more empathetic. So you're getting with the Aquarius, we're in our heads overall. And when the moon goes into Pisces, we're in our hearts, we're in our feelings. Also, the sun had been in Leo the past month, but around 2.35 p.m. Pacific time, the sun enters into Virgo um, for those next four weeks. If you're in the northern latitudes, this that would be every year, the last week of August going into September. It's the time the sun is shining in Virgo. In mythology, Virgo is the time of harvest, the goddess of harvest. When, pe when we um, start, you know, harvesting all the crops, but also when we go back to school 
or when all that playfulness and lightheartedness of summer vacations, it's now time to get back to work. Virgo is a more sensible, practical, work-oriented sign. So before I sign off, I want to remind you I'm available for a one-question offer for a nominal fee. Do order it. Go click on um, the tab that is labeled Advisors on the home page and scroll down to see my name. Just click on my name and you can order your question. So with that said, I want to thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, be safe and well.